yeah so uh, good morning sir uh, good morning yeah yeah so uh, uh, dear participant uh, good morning again and good morning uh, bartendu sir sir bartendu sir i think he is in class now he left okay uh, okay he's only yeah yeah so he may in class so uh, dear participant good morning to each and all and uh, today the second session we are going to start with a, uh, the, our second speaker, uh, Dr. S. Ravi Kumar. Dr. S. Ravi Kumar is an associate professor in the Department of Library and Information Science in uh, Nehu, Silong, uh, Northeastern Hill University, Silong. And uh, uh, Professor Ravi Kumar, Dr. Ravi Kumar is going to talk about the strategy to in, in, uh, increase and illustrate the scholarly uh, productivity. So in the first class today, we discuss about the NIR. And as a resource person, he highlighted uh, the main things in, in the NIFF ranking is research output. And the research output uh, depend on the uh, our in visibility, research visibility, because the research uh, output only products uh, produce the paper is not enough. Our visibility should be there so that we can get our paper should get citation and some research impact. So, sir, uh, Professor Ravi Kumar is a very eminent scholar, very good researchers with a very high research background, high quality research background and uh, working in the uh, matrix area. As uh, the last speaker mentioned about the uh, Goldfield, uh, who is the uh, father of the, this uh, matrix uh, citation uh, analysis study. So he is working in the um, uh, bibliometric center matrix area, which is the very important nowadays. So with this sir, information, uh, with this brief introduction, sir, uh, on behalf of the HRDC Mizoram University and um, on, on my personal behalf, I welcome you, sir, in this uh, sixth faculty induction program of the Mizoram University. And uh, uh, we are very thankful to you that you have given your valuable time to share your rich experience and knowledge with our participants. So with this, uh, welcome you, sir. And now I am handing over the session for your presentation, sir. Thank you, thank you, Professor Manoj, uh, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you once again. Uh, give me a few minutes, I will be sharing my slide. Yeah, yeah, sir. Screen is visible? Yeah, sir, visible. Okay. Uh, good morning to all of you. So today we will be having a, a small sir, presentation. Sir, yeah? sir. Uh, yeah? one thing, uh, one thing, sir. Um, actually, all the participants, they are in webinar mode. So directly, if you they are not able to reply your questions, they will reply only the chat box and question and answer. Okay, okay, okay. No okay, problem. just for your information. Okay, okay. So very good morning to all participants. So today we will have a, a brief presentation on strategy to increase the visibility of uh, scholarly publication. So earlier uh, speaker had touched about the NRIF ranking and uh, some bit of overlap may be there with this topic also. So anyhow, I am not going into the nitty gritty of all the metrics, which because the majority of you are uh, working faculties in different universities. So majority of you will be aware of it. So I'm not going into the nitty gritty of all the metrics and all those things. I will be giving a, a superficial presentation on how we can increase our uh, visibility. So the main objective of my presentation today, after this presentation, I hope all the participants will be in a position to understand the importance of uh, scholarly engagement with your respective domain of knowledge, to evaluate the research productivity among the peers, 
to apply the strategy to increase your scholarly practice in your profession and acknowledge the pros and cons associated with the scholarly uh, activities and publication. So when we are talking of uh, research and how to increase the visibility, so we have to consider certain questions. What are the things we have to consider when you carry out a research? Whether the research, what you are going to do is coming from inside, whether you are really interested to do a research. Okay, so whether we are really interested to do a research or it is a pressure because the other colleague in my next cabin is doing, other faculty is doing, I also are forced to do it. The research cannot come because of a force. Research must come from within that innovative idea must come from the researcher. Then only we can go with the passion. If the passion is not there, it will be like a, a qualitative, uh, quantitative kind of a output only. It will not be a qualitative output. You can have numbers of papers and all those things. But whether those papers will be really read by the peer groups, there is a, a big question. So when you are considering to take a research, you have to see that whether you have the real passion, you must not do the research because of some kind of a pressure or perks or all those things. If you are going to carry out research in that can, that will be not for a long time period. Okay, so uh, a person can work for uh, certain perks and a certain uh, promotions and all those things. He can't work for over the period if he does not have the passion. So first thing is that you try to develop that passion for the research. Research cannot be uh, done like going and reading a book. From there, you'll get a new idea. It will not come like that. So you have to see that how I'm going to contribute to the society. That is important. See, whatever you are going to do as a research, ultimately, it must come as a product where the people will be using it. So you, your research is not used by the, the larger section of the society. Your research will not have that kind of an appreciation. Your research may be good. Your research may be very good innovation, but if it does not touch the large sections of the society, that will not be having that kind of a touch from all the walk of life. So as a researcher, we have to see that we have a passion for the research and the topic we are choosing for the research has to see that whether it will reach a large section of the society. That is very important. So when you are thinking of research, so these are the important things you have to keep in mind. So why I was talking of passion? See, the basic idea of research is that you must come with a new ideas. A new ideas will not come because of certain pressure. If anyone is giving a pressure to you, that time you will not be in a position to come with an innovative ideas. So to come out with a quality research, you must have a mental peace. Then only you can come with a good idea. So the research, the base for the research is the idea which you are going to generate. What kind of idea you are going to generate if your idea See, many will have different kinds of idea. It is not that uh, my idea is good or your idea is bad. It is not like that. How we are going to present the idea to the world, that is important. So in that, from the lab to the end, whether it is published in a journal or a newspaper or as a thesis, so that two ends, you have to see how this innovation is reaching the end product. So that, that is very important. So the first thing is that you have to keep in mind that how to come out with a new idea. Okay, fine. So after a lot of literature review and going through all the documents, patents and all those things, you, you come across a new idea. Okay, so you think that I can do this kind of an work. 
I can do this kind of an work. But once idea is ready means it cannot become a final product. So to carry out your research, the next thing is important as funding. So then we have to see that from where we can get the fund because funding is very important when you think of quality research. Money plays a vital role. Money plays a vital role when it comes for quality research. So many, many were thinking or uh, I think earlier, uh, uh, earlier uh, speakers in early session or the uh, uh, before session, I don't know that uh, if someone has touched that when we think of uh, research publication, we can see that the Western countries on the top, USA is on the top. Next comes China now. Okay, so we are in the fourth or fifth in the ranking of research publication. But when we see the quality of the research that has come out from a uh, US university or US uh, research agency or from a Chinese university, uh, there is a lot of gap. We can say that we are also in the top five in the publication output. No doubt, we are also, when you compare with the pop, uh, population size, it's, we must be on the top actually. When you just think of a population size, we must be on the top. But uh, we are not, it is not that there is a dearth of uh, innovative ideas here. Problem is that the support, the fund, the lab infrastructure and all those things. So those are important things. So when you get an idea, you have to work in such a way to get a quality funding. Okay, so quality funding is very important for any researcher to come out or try to come with a good conclusion or come out with a finished product or end product. So the idea, many researchers have good, good ideas, but they don't have the resources to carry out the research. So funding is a base for any research. If the funding is not there, then the research will not come up. Okay, so when, when we compare the contribution of money that is pumped into the research and the development with India or China or US, you can see how much fund is pumped into R&D in our country. But comparing the money that has been pumped into R&D in our country, we are doing a very good job. Very good job. No doubt in it. But if we get more fund, if we get a more fund, we can do an excellent job like the Western would. So for a research, funding is important. So you, you come out with an idea. After that, you, you have identified from where you can get the fund. It may be from your university or from your, your research lab. It may be UGC, ICSSR, DST, DPT, whatever may be the agency we have or some international agencies, wherever from where you can get the fund, you try to get it. So the second part is over. Now I, 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 I'm I clear that I'm going to get a fund. Okay, I'm going to get the fund. So now the third part is you have to think that to engage with people. Okay, so engage with the people. So what are the engagement you are going to do it. So here engaging means you are taking a researcher for your project, researcher for your research work. That is one kind of an engagement. Next is that seeing the collaboration, seeing the collaboration part. See, for example, I, I belong to library science. I want to do some kind of a, a, a psychological study of the user behavior into the library. Okay, so I'm not an expert from the psychology angle or anthropology angle. So I, I have to see some people who are working in the psychological or anthropological angle. I will, I will join hand with them so that they can give a better input. I belong to library science, no doubt into it. But when I, I think of doing a psychological, see, for example, I want to do a satisfaction, user satisfaction to the library resources. Okay, so if I have some anthropological hand or a psychological hand into it, it will give a better 
output. Otherwise, you think that I am a computer science person, I am going to do an algorithm. If I'm having a mathematician and a statistician with me, it will enhance my research. So, so that is the meaning of engaging. So you have an idea, you got a fund, you know that what, what is the thing you are going to come out with in your research. And if you think that I can do everything, no problem. You have the skill and expertise, no problem. But uh, uh, there is uh, no doubt that all of us cannot be in expertise in all the domain area. If you are a computer science, you may be master in computer science. If you are a mathematician, you will be masters in mathematics. If you are a statistician, in statistics. I'm in library science in my area. So if we today research is not purely depend on one specific domain. Today, majority of the research are interdisciplinary. So try to engage more people into the research so that you will get a lot of new ideas into the research. So one is recruiting the staff for the research. That is one side. Next, identifying the people who are can be engaged in your research. So whether it may be a statistician for your analysis, whether you're a computer science person for writing a code, or a psychological people or anthropological people to develop a scale for your evaluation. It can be any kind of a thing. So try to engage. So idea is ready, funding is then. Then you have identified these are the people. I'm going to work with them for this particular research. Okay. Next is that you have to keep in mind that you have to measure the research activity. Measure means what is the time frame needed to do this research? Because you can't carry out a research for years. Okay. So because a funding agency gives a fund means it wants the result in a stipulated time period. It may be two years, it may be three years. Okay. It cannot run for years and years. So that kind of a, only few research where interdisciplinary large organizations are there, that majority in the medicines and all they do study for a larger period of time for 10 years, 20 years like that they do. That is something different. That, that are very few researches which is carried out for a long period of time. Okay, so when you're talking of measure, you have to measure here that what is the time needed, how much manpower is needed, how much budget is needed, all those things to be measured here. Okay, so once the idea is ready, the funding is ready, what kind of people to be engaged is clear, and I have I have measured that these are the things to be done and I can finish my research within two years, fine. So that measurement part is over. Then comes the evaluation. So you have to evaluate yourself. Yourself means the research what we are doing. Whether the wheel has been already invented or you are, re you are going to invent the wheel again. The meaning is that we are not going to do a, a repetitive research. Okay, just uh, changing here and there. And you say that I have done a new thing. That is not the meaning of research. Research means entirely new thing. Okay, research means entirely new thing. Whether that kind of evaluation we have to do it. Whether we are doing an extension work or we are coming to the new idea. Okay, so once you evaluate, you see that there are certain shortcomings in our research you feel that there are shortcomings in research, then try to re-engage with more expert. Try to re-engage with more expert, those who are having expertise in those areas. After evaluating, you feel that there is a shortcoming. There is a pitfall in my research. So try to bridge that gap. Try to fill those gaps so that you know what is the problem so that you can re-engage it. Okay, so that, that is very important. So try to re-engage with the, the existing research team or if you want to add more into your research team. It depends upon what kind of a, a, a pitfall you have found. Okay, next, once you are clear, then you have to think about your result which will help you to build the reputation. 
Okay, so the research what you have done has to be published there as a journal article or a thesis, or you have to file a patent, all those things. So this will give you the reputation. So you have to see that how you are going to publish it, whether it is a journal or you are going to file a patent or it is a thesis, whatever may be. So this will increase the reputation. Okay. It will increase the reputation. If from your research, if you are able to file two patent instead of two journal article, patent will have more reputation than the research article. Okay, so that that is the thing you have to see what what is the meaning of reputation here. So from your research, whether you are coming out with a just a journal publication from a, a good journal, or is there any possibility to file a patent? If if there is a possibility to file a patent, suppose you file a couple of patent, okay, and the patent has been awarded, then the reputation increases than your journal. I'm not telling that uh, journal article is good or bad or all those things. Because patent means it, it tells that you have come out with a new thing. You, you have uh, come out with a new idea that has been uh, licensed under your name. Okay, so this, this can be converted into an end product as a product tomorrow if you have the patent. Okay, so that is the reason we are telling that patent gives more reputation okay so once these things are there then the next stage comes think of the new idea okay so starting from idea to publication you have to keep in mind how to proceed okay so research is very important unless if you want to come out with a quality output unless you keep these things in your mind it is very difficult okay so as a researcher there will be many questions that will be coming into our mind when we are talking of doing a research okay so these are all certain questions that will be coming what will be your strategy uh, how I'm going to search the literature, what kind of a people I'm going to take, what kind of an action I'm going to do. All those things are there. So these are all certain uh, visual. I'm not going into it. This is a self-explanatory part. I, everyone can understand it. Okay. So initially we are talking of doing a research from the lab environment or those kind of a survey kind of a thing. The next kind of a research output comes from the consultating point of view. Okay, consultancies are many, many people give consultancies, many economics give consultants, many energy engineers give consultants, many architectures give consultants. Okay, many public administrator people, management people give a lot of consultations. So that is also a type of research. That is also type of research. In that case, the research is focused. The organization comes and says that, see, for last five years, my sales is down. My product is like this. My product is very good. There is no problem in my quality. They comes to a management expert and say that, see, my product is like this, but over the period of time, my sales is very down. Then the consultant part works on it and see what is the problem with the product, why the sales has come down. So they will work on something and they will come out with a solution. They will say that you change your packing, you reduce the price, you increase the price. So uh, different kinds of things will be there. Okay. So on that basis, you see that the product sales shoot up. Sir. Okay. The product sales shoot up. That That is also another kind of a research, but that research is confined to that problem that has been given by a stipulated organization or an institution. Okay. So there also a research take place, but the research is to find a solution for the existing problem. So the researcher knows what is a problem. Whereas in conventional research, we don't know what is the problem. Okay, we identify, we think of new product, we develop it, we come out with it. It can be a success in a market, it can be a failure in a market, that is something that, but we try to come out with a new product. So that, but here, the problem is already fixed the product sales is declining over the period of time. This is my problem. 
the company comes and tells to the consultant. The consultant goes and sees. So these are the product. So what are the competitive product? Why the sales are coming down over the period of time? So there are many reasons. Because of that, things are done accordingly. So the consulting is also a kind of a research, but it is confined to a particular objective. It is confined to a particular objective to give a solution to it. Okay. So after carrying out the research, the final thing what we have in our hand is results. Okay. After doing different, whether it is a conventional research, whether it is a lab oriented research, or it is a kind of a survey kind of a research, or it is a consultation kind of a research. Finally, we come out with a result. Okay. So this result has to be published. This result has to be published. There comes the scholarly publication. Okay. The ideas that was germinated in the lab comes as a result. This result has to be taken to the larger population through the journal, through newspapers, or filing a patent, whatever it may be. Okay. So the end product of the research is the result. So this result has to be published. Okay. So this published result is called as a scholarly publication that we see it in the journals. Okay. So these are the different types of research output. I don't know in earlier presentation, anyone have used this uh, PPT? I don't know. If it is used, uh, kindly bear me, me for uh, overlapping it. So the majority of the research output comes out as a research article. Okay, so the majority of the research output comes as a research article that is around 56.5 percentage, around it is 57 percentage. So total publication that comes in an from an research organization around 57 percentage is finds place in journal article okay finds place in journal article the next is the thesis and dissertation what you see as a phd or those kind of a thesis next is book conference paper book is generally for social science the political science economics so there there your uh, anthropological study uh, literature there there you can see the book plays a major role conference paper when it comes to the engineering side so the engineering side prefer more in the conference paper next is a report so reports are generally as i told you the, the consulting part I give a consulting for an organization telling that increase my sales. So they will do certain thing and they'll say that these are the report finding. So reduce the price of your product, changing the packing of your product, change the sales strategy, put the advertisement in the peak cover. Some kind of a results suggestions will be there. So that is called as a report. So that report is around 3.5%. Next is reviews. Other as book chapters and government documents, videos, and the other 11% is other document which is not covered here. It may be a newspaper, it may be a blog, okay. It may be a wiki document, all those things. These are all called as the research output, okay. So within the journal article itself, there are around 70 types of journal articles. We think that articles are there. This 50 percentage, what we see as an article, journal articles are around 70 different types of journal articles. It may be a research article, it may be a review article. Okay, so like that you have different kinds of, uh, it can be a short communication. So like that many are there. So journal, if you want uh, more insight, this journal article itself can be divided into different types okay fine okay so now from the lab i have done the research i have come out with the quality research i have published okay i have published so now 
the problem of visibility comes in. Okay, now the problem of visibility comes in. Okay, in a hugely competitive uh, research landscape, scientists can no longer afford to just publish and hope for the best. To leave a mark, researcher has to have to take their impact into their own hands. Okay, so you may be a quality researcher, your publication is good, but if you think that I have published in good journal and if you sit, it is not going to have that kind of a visibility where other person has published in the same kind of a journal, but he is trying to publicize his research work. Okay, so the days are gone that I publish in some journal and I sit, I will get good number of citations or all those things. But now you have to walk an extra mile to see your visibility or increase your visibility. Okay, unless the author or the scientist take the responsibility on the shoulders, it is very difficult for anyone to see that kind of result. Okay, that is very important. Unless you take some extra effort. If you are not taking some extra effort, it is very difficult. Okay, because today it is not that I am the only researcher in the world or you are the only researcher in the world. Many people are working on the same area. If you want your document to be visible, you have to run little extra. You have to go for a little extra miles. That is very, very important. If that is not done in today's environment, you may be a good researcher. Your findings are very good, but it is not reaching the public or the peer group people. See, for example, today we have a lot of databases like Web of Science. Science Web of Science is there, Scopus is there. I hope all of you know it. Okay. So Web of Science is considered the best database. Next to that is the Scopus. Okay, after that in Indian context, we have UGC Careless. Okay, so in simple word, Web of Science indexes only A grade journal, just for your simple understanding. Okay, Web of Science just indexes only the A grade journal, whereas Scopus indexes both A grade and B grade journal. Okay. Whereas UGC care list indexes A grade, B grade and C grade journal. Okay. So like that, the journal qualities are different. Because of that only you will know that certain journal have a high impact factor, certain journals have low impact factor. Okay. So think that I, I am a quality researcher and I have published my article in Web of Science. Okay, ISI indexed journal. After publishing in such a quality journal also, I don't get a citation. So for your understanding, 40% of the indexed article in Web of Science has zero citation. Okay, 40% of the articles which is indexed in Web of Science is having zero citation. So now a author has published in Web of Science journal, index journal, but still he is not getting citation. So then you will say that his research is not worth it. Research is good, but that extra mile what we have to walk that particular researcher has not walked because today the competitiveness is very high. Today the competitiveness is very high. See, when I search for an article, okay, when I search for an article, I will go through the Google list of top 10 or top 25. 
I'm not going to go to the next page of third page or fourth page of what is a retrieval is there. Okay, so you must make certain effort in such a way that your research comes in the top 10 research list when anyone searches that particular topic. So for that, you have to run little extra mile. So what is those things a researcher has to do? That we will see how to increase your visibility. Okay, how to increase the visibility. See, whatever is there on the screen, I hope all of you know it. I'm not going to tell anything which you don't know. Okay. So the first thing as a researcher, you must have to create a profile in these kind of a social media account, whether it is a Google Scholar, it is an Academia, or it is a ResearchGate, or many more are there. Okay. It is many more are there. See, for example, if you create a account in Google Scholar, if you create an account in Academia, if you create an account in ResearchGate, I hope that all of you are having account in all these kind of, an, at least Google Scholar and ResearchGate, if not Academia, because Academia is a paid one. Many may not have it. At least in Google Scholar and ResearchGate, majority of you will have it. So all of you would have identified the advantage of having an account in a Google Scholar or ResearchGate. So, so coming into the Google Scholar, okay. So Google Scholar helps us to create a visibility of your article in the web world, okay. If you create your account and put all your papers in Google Scholar, the indexing done in a better way. Indexing is done in a better way and it catches all the citations. Okay. See, the reason why I am telling is that Google Scholar is the only platform which catches all kinds of citation. Which catches all kinds of citation. In case of Web of Science, it takes the citation only from A grade journal. In case of Scopus, it takes only the citation that comes from the journal which is indexed in Scopus. Whereas in Google Scholar, it takes all the citations that is taking place under the sky. Your paper has been cited in a thesis. And this thesis has been submitted to Shodh Ganga. The Google Scholar will capture it. Okay. So that is the advantage of having these kind of a. So once you create your account, what happens is that all your papers are arranged under the Google Scholar and it is indexed. So anyone searching your paper on that particular subject domain. Okay, so you may be an anthropologist, you may be a physicist, you may be a chemistry person, whatever may be the, so because within your subject also certain specialization will be there. Okay, so once you create these kind of an academic accounts, what happens is that all your publication output are pulled under one, umbrella so that it becomes easy for the search engine to retrieve your document. Okay, so that is the first thing. Next is academia.edu.in. Okay, so academia is another site which indexes good number of paper, good number of paper and which is helps to share among the peer groups, which helps to share among the peer group. Next is ResearchGate. I hope majority of you are aware of ResearchGate. I don't think so. Any faculty at, in today's environment is not using Google Scholar or ResearchGate. ResearchGate is an, another platform from where you can upload your paper. Okay, ResearchGate is an, another area from where you can upload your paper and you can share with the peer group. Okay, so again, 
copyright issues are there those things as a author you have to take into account okay whether you can update only the abstract or full article or preprint or post print all those things as an author of the paper you have to keep in mind but this research gate is a platform where you can put all your research and you can create a network among your peer group people that is very important you can create a list of your co-authors you, you can create a list of people who are working under the same topic you can message them you can communicate with them you can form a team you can recommend their article the recommended article will fall into your account so that you can see all those things and ultimately this research gate gives you a score like an impact factor rg score how much is the score you are getting so that today that score is also taken up from certain organization and it is used in their appraisal what is your rg score because many many are talking of the citation and those metrics nowadays rg score is also quite good metric for evaluating the researcher so try to create profile in these accounts and put all your scholarly document into it meaning is that the bibliographic data if you have the provision to put the full text you put it if you don't have it but try to put the bibliographic data that is very important it pulls out all the related document and it suggests you that these are the people working in your area so this will help you to develop your collaboration that is another important thing okay so till now if any of you have not created an account so kindly create an account and put all your research output in these kind of a platform okay next use of reference manager there are many reference managers are there zotero is there endnote is there site you like is there mendeley is there there are many are there okay so all of you will think that i am talking reference manager in the in the context of citation okay in the context of when you are writing a paper you use a reference manager so that you can cite the document properly okay i am not talking in that context i am not talking in that context how to have a quality bibliographic details okay whether you use zotero you use endnote or you use cite you like you use mendeley it's up to you but here what i want to emphasize is that try to create an account in mendeley or cite you like okay try to create an account in mendeley or cite you like and put all your papers in mendeley so this also increases the visibility of your paper okay this also increases the visibility of the paper so uh, when when the online journals came into the existence that time one of the important concept was that how much download okay how much time the article is downloaded so download was an evaluative criteria but now you have another criteria to see the the scale of all visibility of your document is that how many people are reading your article okay so this mendeley tries to give the data that how many people are reading my article this mendeley account is not only for reference manager tool this mendeley gives an data to the publisher that how many people have downloaded article a or b into the mendeley account see i publish an article if i publish an article and 100 people download my article into their mendeley account what happens is that i will get a readership number as 100 the system will say to the publisher that this paper has read by 100 people so this mendeley and cite you 
datas are captured from publisher okay so you uh, see reference work or zotori or internet all those things does the same kind of a job but site you like and mendeley gives the data to the publisher whether zotori internet and all those things does not give it. that is the only thing so the mendeley is a now product of elsevier mendeley was a, a research project of uh, students of computer science and after that it became a product and they sold it to elsevier now elsevier owns the copyright of mendeley still it is free only okay so now now the majority of the tool which is used is zotore and mendeley so it's up to you to see what kind of a tool to use it but if you have a profile in site you like and mendeley and put all your papers into it it increases the visibility of the paper it increases the visibility of the paper and it gives a score that how many times the paper has been read in coming slides i will show you what is that okay next thing what you have to do is that you have to create a profile in these kind of a platforms like in linkedin facebook twitter and all those things some may be very active in social media some may not be there okay so those who are active no problem but those who are not active it is for them see all of you know it i am not telling anything new all of you are uh, aware of linkedin all of you are aware of facebook all of you are aware of twitter but use these tool to publish your research output that is very important so create a linkedin account highlight your best work okay highlight your best work try to connect with other researcher describe yourself in the right words show your expertise status okay because the linkedin gives you a good network and it can uh, increase the visibility of your research output don't think that linkedin is only for that uh, uh, corporate entity or uh, uh, computer or uh, computer savvy but it is not like that okay so this link in is a good platform i don't know how many of you are having if you don't have it do it okay if you are don't having do it create an account try to highlight and portrait your thing in a best way as it as much as possible and it is not only the creating an account so you must be very active in that account that is also very important okay so today uh, you come across uh, you have come out with a publication so try to put the abstract in the linkedin and say that this is our finding so from that you will see that couple of people will be interested in your article they may be asking your article they may be citing your article in future or they may be liking to co collaborate with you so any any kind of lead you can get it okay there is no harm in putting your i'm not telling that you put all your full paper because of copyright issues will be there just put the abstract and uh, just write a brief uh, information about or uh, what is your research outcome yeah, give a brief not not the full thing and if you have some good kind of a visualization say for example a bot person is working on a plant and he got some quality picture of a plant you try to post it and you say that from this plant i have got certain result okay or or any uh, visualization in a graph or all those kind of a thing if you have a good visualization try to put it so that it will attract the people in your network and they will increase it will in turn increase your visibility okay so these kind of a platform you have to see i am not telling about twitter and facebook because all of you know it just i am telling on linkedin only because linkedin many people will think that it is a corporate place why we have to do it no it is not like that so only i put linkedin not as a facebook or twitter all of you will have facebook and twitter accounts so try to utilize those things so if you have your facebook account whenever your article is published try to share it in in the twitter also and 
the same kind of an information you come across some in uh, some good research is there you try to share it so that the other researchers is also motivated okay other researcher is also motivated he will also in turn uh, share your publishing document in coming days so try to develop that culture so that is the thing i told you have to walk a little extra mile it is not that just i have done a good research i have published fine no now we have to do this extra job that creating a profile in all these accounts and then putting it in such a way that it will boost our visibility see you are going to do i am not going to do for yourself na so you have to portray your research and your profile in such a way that it will attract the user okay so it is it is like you are portraying yourself in such a presentable way okay so today we are going for a party means you you will be dressing up in a good way not in a conventional way it's a day to day office activity so party means you will dress up in better way all those things the same way here also in your profile also you present it in a such a way that it attracts the people in your network okay it will attract the people in network and keep on updating things in your profile today i have delivered a lecture today i have delivered invited speech this is a research output i have got a new project so all those things try to put in this kind of a platform you may think that sir these are all my personal thing why i have to put it i 100% agree that these are all your personal thing but today the world is so huge and a lot of activity is going on no one has time to see that what ravi kumar is doing or what manoj is doing okay no one is going to track me or track yourself so you have to take things to their end you have to take these things to th their end that is very important so why i have talked of uh, linkedin is that whenever you have thought of a computer science or a software job linkedin plays a major role if you get a quality link from the linkedin getting a software job is comparatively easier than those who are not in linkedin because with linkedin you get lot of references okay so so when i am telling that don't think from the corporate angle try to use it in the academic angle so use the linkedin in such a way that you create so that the scientific community will be linked with you okay so now you may say sir i have in research yet sir i have in uh, orchid id no doubt what is the problem for you to have an account in research gate and linkedin also linkedin and facebook also linkedin and twitter also what is the problem all of them are not using all these platforms one may be using linkedin one may be using facebook one may be using twitter so for that only we have to put all our tentacles in all the places it is not that i am comfortable with linkedin i will use only linkedin okay if you are going to confine yourself to one platform you are going to reduce your visibility you are going to reduce your visibility try to create as much as profile it may be a, rep a replica only it may be duplication only but no harm you are not going to lose anything but you are going to gain you are going to create an account in facebook you are going to account uh, create an account in uh, twitter or your account in orchid id or anything what is the loss you are going to have what is the loss you are going to have instead you may think that 100 people are in my network linkedin network whereas in facebook you may have 500 network whereas if you go to telegram you will have thousands of network okay so you try to create as much as possible okay see in today's environment it is little difficult only i agree with you sir uh, it is, we don't have time to go into all those things and see but 
you have to do it if you want your research to be more visible if your research you think that i need more visibility i need more citation i need more readership then you have to walk this extra mile otherwise you publish it and you sit you may be the 60 percentage of web of science uh, article where you get a citation or you can become a 40 percentage of the article which does not get a citation it's up to you it's up to you see why i took web of science as a start uh, example is that all of us know that any journal which is indexed in web of science means it is a quality journal within that indexed article 40 percentage of the article get zero citation the 40 percentage of article get zero then you think 40 percentage of the article which is indexed in web of science same way in scopus also the percentage may be little less or more in scopus also you have zero citation article so all of you know that how uh, how much you have to work to get published in a scopus index journal after publishing if you don't get a citation how will you feel how will you feel so that part you have to so for that only as a researcher now we have to walk an extra mile creating an account in google scholar creating an account in researchgate creating an account in linkedin facebook twitter instagram or whatever may be wherever you feel that i can pass this information to other research community there you have to do it otherwise you may have a group okay so in in library science we have a group uh, where library science people are there okay so you try to put those kind of a group if you are a biotechnologies you have a group if you are a physical education person you have a group there you put it if you are a linguistic person if you have a group if wherever wherever it is possible it is not that only the social platform you may have a whatsapp group also in that also if you forward your article that will increase your visibility so these are the extra mile you have to walk if you really feel that i or as an individual researcher my paper must have more visibility okay so that is very important part next is the orchid id part i i think that majority of the authors today have their orchid id if they don't have it kindly create it so what is the idea of orchid id orchid id is an unique identification number that has been given to you because by the name ravi kumar you will have thousands of ravi kumar in the world how the system will know that ravi kumar a and ravi kumar b are different okay if i search in google scholar or in scopus or web of science you will get n number of ravi kumar how the system will know that uh, this ravi kumar and that ravi kumar is different so this orchid id gives you an unique identification so that if i put this id all my papers will come all my papers will come the orchid id is quite new it is hardly 5 10 years old but this this helps us to aggregate all my paper in a single click it helps to aggregate all my paper in a single click that is very important okay so those who are not having those who are not having your account so kindly create i hope that majority of you are because all of you are from academic institution only all of you are well aware of just as a part of this presentation i am telling why we need because name this ambiguity or ambiguity can be removed because how this name is written see for example many people think that ravi kumar is a two name ravi kumar some people write subramanyam ravi kumar some people write kumar kumar ravi 
So all these problems will be solved when you have Arcade ID. It is not only that Ravi Kumar A and Ravi Kumar B is different for that. Within Ravi Kumar itself, see, I have given my example itself. My name is uh, searched from three different angles. Ravi Kumar as a single name, Ravi Kumar as a separate thing, uh, Kumar Ravi as a thing, Subramaniam Ravi Kumar as a thing. So you can see that how a particular name creates this kind of a disambiguity. Huh? So to avoid these things, Orchid ID helps. Okay, this is a unique identification number. So the way we get a roll number or a registration number in our colleges or universities, because no two person will have a same roll number or registration number. Same way, no two person will have same Orchid ID. So try to create an unique identification for you so that that helps you to stand out in the larger crowd. Okay. If two Ravi Kumar are there, if two Manoj are there, if I put my Arcid ID, the, they will say that these are the Arcid ID papers that Ravi Kumar from Nehu. These are the paper Manoj from Mizoram University. Okay. So that is the idea. It, see, creating this is like creating an email account. You are not going to lose anything. I hope all of you know that today, if anyone is publishing or sending an article to a good journal, they will ask that whether you have an Archie ID or not. Okay. Many people are asking for it. A good journal, they ask for Archie ID. It's clear. So try to create these kind of a, uh, ID so that you stand separate in a crowd. Okay, so that is the thing. We are not going to lose anything out of it. You are not going to lose anything. You may think that, sir, all our datas are there. Yes, datas are there. Once we are into the net, our datas are open to the net. No doubt in Sir, I'm afraid my things will be... What is the guarantee that uh, if you don't create uh, this account also, your datas are secured? Okay. So any hacker who want to hack your account, they can do it. So don't think that if you are going to be more visible in the social media, you are uh, having problem of this kind of hacking and all those things. So don't think from that angle. We are thinking of putting the visibility of our research only. I am not telling you to put your personal thing into this account. You are uh, attending a wedding or you are going for a family Tour, I'm not telling that you put all those things in your social media. It's that is your personal thing. We are talking of research. Whatever the research outcomes are there, try to publicize more using these kind of a platform. Okay. So the Orchid ID is one of the important ID for authors in today's generation. Okay. Next platform is Kudos. This is an, another important platform which helps to increase your visibility. Okay, which increases is your visibility. So once you create your account, it's like your Google Scholar or uh, ResearchGate only. Okay, it is nothing now uh, different. But the problem is that 100 people will be using ResearchGate, another 100 people will be using Kudos, and out of these 150 will have account in both. Okay. So why do you uh, uh, lose those kind of a thing? So try to create account in these kind of a platform and try to put all your publication in such a way. Okay, publication in such a way that it creates more visibility. It creates more visibility. That is very important. Okay. Then I was talking of Mendeley. I told you that in coming slide, I will show you. Okay. So why we are talking of this uh, <clears throat> social media for increasing your research visibility is that I don't know how many of you are aware of Altmetric. So all of you are aware of uh, impact factor and all those things. One of the uh, today's metric is Altmetric. Altmetric is a combination score of all the metrics. The number of citation you get, number of times your paper uh, is being uh, shared in Facebook, 
number of time uh, your paper has been discussed in a YouTube lecture, number of time yours has been cited in a patent, like this. Okay. So these are the certain variables which brings the score. So you can see in the donut color, each color, see for example, the blue color is for Twitter color. Okay. This red for research highlights. So you can see that each an article which is having the presence in these much social media account gets more visibility. Okay, gets more visibility. So because of that only I'm telling as a researcher, as an author, you have to walk an extra mile and create your account in all these kind of a social media account and try to publicize your work. Try to publicize your work in such a way that it reaches the peer group. Okay, it reaches the peer group in such a way so that your visibility increases. If your visibility increases, your citation increases, your collaboration increases. Okay, so that is very important for all the researcher in today's environment. Next is that try to upload your papers in subject repositories. Okay, see, because all of you are bound with certain copyrights. Okay. Okay, so in these kind of a subject repositories, you can publish your preprints. Okay, I have sent an article to a journal and they have published after various review, various correction. But before correction, you have a Word document. So that Word document you convert into PDF and submit there. You are not going to violate any copyright. So you can see that agriculture and applied economics repository is there, RA, uh, site share is there, field paper is there, PubMed center is there. There are many are there. SSNR for social science is there. Like that, many more are there. So whichever is comfortable, you go to Google and uh, search for uh, subject repository, list of things will be come. So whichever you feel comfortable, you try to upload your pre or post print or whatever format so that it is helpful for the increase the visibility of the paper because now you are publishing a paper in an open access means no problem but all of us are not publishing in an open access because certain money involved into in a good journal they ask for certain charge for making it open access Okay, for the uh, researcher from a developing country like us, it is very difficult. They charge around uh, $50, $100, $300. One paper was accepted for me. They asked for 250 franc, sorry, Swiss franc. 250 Swiss franc, you can calculate how much is the charge. Okay, so we don't have that kind of a fund with us to publish in those kind of a reputed journal. So try to put the papers in this kind of a repository, which in turn will increase your visibility. Okay, which in turn will increase your visibility. Next is that try to share your research data into the research repository. Okay, for carrying out your research, you would have come out with certain data. Okay, you can, would have come out, see I go and uh, do a survey in the field. I have collected the data. See, for example, uh, in a state, we have five districts. Okay, so I have collected the data from two districts. I can share it in a domain, like Figshare or Mendeley data or uh, Harvard data, or whatever, wherever you like it. Okay, so you share it. And tomorrow, a researcher want to do on some other district. Okay, so for that researcher, no need to do a uh, survey on the same district because already I have done a survey. So that researcher can use my data and you can go for another district. So what happens is that I have done in one district, the other person is going to do on another district. So now two data are there. So that person also will upload in the data in a repository. So tomorrow third person will work on another district. So now 
three people are working on three distinct data are there. And in, in return, what you are going to do or what we are going to get is that my data will be cited. My data will be cited in, in return, my paper is going to get a citation. Okay, so try to upload your data into your repository. So if you are a computer science people, all of you know that they will share their coding and all those things into GitHub where the code has been stored. So like a GitHub for uh, code, uh, GitHub and uh, Stack Overflow, like that for data repository, you can use Figshare or Mendeley Data or Dira Digital Repository or Harvard Dataverse or Open Science, whichever is, these are, uh, these are all certain platform, okay? Next important thing is that try to attend good conferences. Try to attend good conferences where you can put your ideas in the platform. You can get more network collaboration. Okay, you will try to meet peer group people. You will try to meet a new people there. So whenever possibility is there, try to attend the conference and try to interact with people. Okay, and use the, the links like Wikicf, Conal Conference, All Conference Alert. So these are all sites which keeps on updating what are the upcoming conferences are there. Also, uh, weekly once you go through it, so wherever is your related area conferences are coming, try to submit a paper, if possible to go physically. And today after the COVID, we have the blended mode is there. It is not that you can go, not uh, physically also you can go we uh, in a visual mode we can sorry in a blended mode we can attend the conference okay so try to attend the conference and put your ideas there because that place where the dissemination takes place very fast that place where the dissemination takes place very fast okay so try to attend as much as conferences but quality conference that is very important don't go to the conference where people think that you scratch my back i will also scratch your back don't go for those kind of a conference go for a quality conferences where they give time for discussion i have attended some conferences after that i lost my mind to go to the conference the presenter goes to the stage at once the moderator says that go to the finding he does not give the time for him to start from the introduction part a person coming from a long place to attend and present his idea and they don't give the presenter the time. He goes on the stage, he says that, go to your finding, conclude. Then you see the moral will be, what will be the moral of the people. So don't, I'm not talking of those kind of a conference. I'm talking of conferences quality. In a session, only five papers will be there. In a session, only six papers will be there. Post session, you have half an hour or one hour for discussion. I am talking of that kind of a quality conference. Go to that kind of a quality conferences where you can discuss, you can put your idea, you can develop your network and all those things. So, so conferences is very important when you are thinking of developing your uh, network or putting your tentacles in different area. Next is that expand your co-authorship base. See, as a faculty, uh, my publications are with my research scholar. So don't confine yourself with the supervisor and the student. As I told you in the earlier part itself, if you are able to collaborate, I'm doing any psychological kind of a study, try to take a psychological expert, try to have an anthropological expert. I'm not good in statistics. Try to collaborate with the statistician. I'm not good in uh, computers. Try to use a computer expert. So try to increase your collaboration. Okay, try to increase your collaboration in such a way that, see, I will give an example. See, uh, one of my person, a friend working in a computer science area. Okay, so uh, through his research uh, network, he got an invitation from an environmental science person. Okay, so environmental science person want to create a model where he was not having an expertise. He requested them that you can create a model in uh, with uh, 
uh, whatever the computer language you know, he told that, okay, I will create a model for you. You will not, uh, you, till now, the most the highest cited paper of my friend is that, that paper published from the environmental science area. He never thought that just creating a model for a person who is working on an environmental science will have increased his citation base. Out of all his computer science, core computer science paper, the paper which he co collaborated with an environmental science has more citation. Okay, so try to increase your co-authorship base. Okay, it is not that, uh, again, I'm not telling that you scratch my back and I will scratch your back. I'm not telling from that angle. Try to build a good co-authorship base where each one will contribute. Each one will contribute. One will contribute in methodology, one will contribute in analysis, one will contribute in developing your uh, write-up. So like that, you try to collaborate in such a way that you increase your collaboration network. More collaboration, more visibility, more visibility, more citation. Okay. So, thank you for your attention. With this, I conclude. So, before going into it, I I will show what is the use. See, for example, you have gone to okay okay so just i'll go into the web of science i'm not So now you can see here, I work in bibliometrics. I work on open source library software. These are my two areas where I work. Okay. So under bibliometrics, under web of science, you have 6,000 indexed article. Okay. Now I will go and put So this is an open source library software in which I work. Okay. So you can see that under Koha, only 300 articles are published. So why I'm giving this example is that citation is based on the area you are working on. Choose an area in which your visibility will be more. I'm not telling that I'm working in Koha is good or bad. Because these are all very niche area where limited people are working. Okay, only limited people are working. So meaning is that my publication on Koha will be cited by these 103 people only. Whereas if I publish in bibliometrics, I have a chance of getting cited by that 6,000 people. Okay. That, that is the only thing I want to explain here. Okay. Next is that when you go for altmetric. Okay. So this is one article which has the highest altimetric score, we will go into. So now we will click on to the agriculture science. This is the document I'm going into this particular article. Why I'm showing is that how social media plays a important role. Okay. How many times this particular article, susceptibility of ferret, cat, dogs and all, has been cited in the news, okay? You can see that 
how many times this has been cited in the blog how many times this has been cited in a policy document how many times this has been tweeted how many times this has been cited in a patent how many times this has been in the facebook so only i told try to be more visible in the social media okay next i told about the readership okay mendeley so it shows that this particular paper susceptibility has been downloaded in mendeley account like i have a mendeley account you have a mendeley account like that 1885 people have downloaded into their respective mendeley account so when you click on to this mendeley account i think net is slow if it click on to the mendeley account it will show that i think net is slow, slow i'm not able to, it will show that whether the researchers are there students are uh, reading or from which country they are reading all these details will come okay so try to be as much as visible in a social media account okay it's clear so with this i conclude my presentation if any questions are there i can take up the question oh uh, shantanu ghosh sir often we get a greater number of citation in research gate compared to google scholar may you suggest any possibility and reason for it see citation is purely based on the area which you are working okay it is not that google scholar is good or research gate is good so only i gave you the example of web of science bibliometric and koha as an example if your topic is interested by many people you will get more citation if your research area is interested by less people obviously your citation also will be less it is not the meaning that you are a you are a poor researcher or your quality research is less the area also is important you think that why every time chemistry people are getting more citation when compared to social science people you take any chemistry people you take any chemistry scientist you see that their citation will be more because their publication quantity is also very high their publication quantity is also very high when compared to social science so those are the reason why the citation number varies it is not that a person who is getting high citation is a quality researcher a person who is getting low citation is not a it is not the area in which they are working the same way you can see that medical people those who are working in genetics and all those things get more citation okay so the area is also important okay if any question is there i will take up otherwise uh, thank so, you for uh, all dear dear participant if you have any queries any question regarding uh, her presentation please put your question first we will take up otherwise uh, we will bind up the session please come up we will wait 30 second so you can stop the uh, your presentation and sharing mode so that the screen will be lit okay so uh, dear participant if you have some queries please come up with first so uh, sir i think no such a queries from their side to all the things uh, they clear so thank you so much dr ravi kumar sir uh, for giving your valuable time and very informative session uh, for all of us uh how the present time uh, the social media play important role in the academic visibility uh, and uh, they have impact on the different academic parameters like citation and uh, others so really it is a great time and uh, all of us uh, we should aware of this type of the tools and techniques uh, for our sustainability in the uh, academic field so uh, thank you so much sir for your valuable time uh, that um, our you, my office staff will contact you for your and, uh, uh, to share my thoughts uh, just a minute uh, more chats are coming what is that? i will see okay oh, all yeah. or thank you only yeah, fine yeah. okay fine okay, okay so, then yeah thank you thank you can sir can i sign off
Yeah, yeah, you sign up, sir. Okay. Office will okay, contact then. you soon. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. So, dear participant, uh, now there is a lunch break. After lunch break, we will meet. But one thing, uh, what I observed in the last two, three days, in the beginning, there is a lot of questions. But nowadays, the day it is going on, the question, you're uh, asking the question is decreasing. I don't know why it should be increased, but why it is decreasing? So, please. Put your questions. When we put some questions, uh, always it is good.